just got this Raspberry Pi kit. It comes with an Ethernet cable, HDMI cable, and this is the fan for the case, heat sink. This is the USB stick for imaging the micro SD card. This is the micro SD card that's a 64 gigabyte, and this is the Raspberry Pi 4, the 8 gigabyte version. It comes with a case, which we will set up in a minute, a tiny uh, screwdriver. This is just a warranty and the user manual here. Now uh, let's open up that case and uh, it's just a clip so you can take uh, up these sides open. And this is what comes inside the case. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's first put those heat sinks on. Uh, there is uh, this kind of a glue that you just put on and they stick to the chips. So we'll put those heat sinks on. And uh, there are three of them. So this is the big one that goes over the main chip. And uh, there are two other tiny heat sinks. Uh, what I like about this kit is it comes with almost everything you need to get started. And it's been a little bit hard to get Raspberry Pi due to supply chain issues. Uh, hopefully it's getting better. And uh, I got this one to uh, answer some questions and I have a couple of projects to try on. So uh, after putting on these heat sinks, now we're gonna take this Raspberry Pi, put it on the base and use those four tiny screws to secure it in place. Uh, you notice here that there are uh, other screws. Those are for the fan. But here, we're just going to uh, put that Raspberry Pi in, in the base of the case. And now for the fan. So the fan goes on the top case. And here, make sure you plug in the fan on the 5 volt and the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi. So plug in the fan first and then route it through. Uh, again, those pins are the 5 volt and the ground. Then route the fan through put that middle layer in, then you can uh, put the fan back on that top layer of the case. Uh, it fits very nice and snug, and then I will still secure it with a couple of screws here. Um, so these are just a quick screws to secure the fan in place, just in case. And uh, it clips in place very well, but these are just in case here. Uh, then the case clips back on, and that's pretty much it here. This is the uh, micro SD card. It's a 64 gigabyte and it fits right in there on the side. Uh, I did image the micro SD card already. I have a separate video for that. Uh, it comes with these uh, rubber uh, stickers or rubber base for the case so it doesn't slip. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.